Pastor Steve and Cheryl Ingram from Orlando, Florida. We had been on the road with our band, Alp and Glow. And, Jesus Movement Days. <laughs> yes, and under contract to the 700 Club's House Top Records. And Steve was contracted to do an album on spec for Kenneth Copeland. One thing led to another. He was invited to be a pianist on the road in the ministry and then got the invitation for us to move out here to Fort Worth, Texas. But we found out quickly we didn't know much about faith when we got here. Now, we were playing, singing, wonderful thing. And in the midst of that, I found out I'm playing for a man who knows something besides music. He's very right. great vocally. He's got a p powerful anointing on him when he sings still today. Yes. And uh, we decided, you know, we're going to study by the side of the stage. Every time there's a meeting, we'll play, but we'll go back and sit by the side of the stage. And, and take notes. And that's what we started we doing. And it changed our thinking, and I'm so glad it did. We came with a lot of debt, and we came with a horrible story that she couldn't get pregnant. Mm. And we'd been married seven, six years. We'd six been years. married six yeah. years yeah. by then, and um, he was on the road with Brother Copeland. And uh, I got right very, meetings. yes, and I'm, I'm back in our little tiny apartment, and he, was, he brought me home the whole tape series at the time, tapes. And I began to listen to these teachings over and over and over again. I'd put one after the other. I'd fall asleep to them at night. So I was getting the word while he was on the road with Brother Copeland. And I got very sick. And I made an appointment at a doctor's office. And um, he examined me. He said, well, I'm going to send you to a specialist. So I went there and was examined. He said, we need to do emergency surgery on you. I said, oh no, my husband is traveling with Kenneth Copeland. I, I can't do that. I can't make that decision. So I left there and went back to the office at the old Arlington Country Club where the offices were at the time. And I walked in and just broke down crying. And all the women surrounded me and began to pray over me. And one lady in the mail room said, there is a doctor that attends my church. He's spirit filled, he's an OBGYN. He is not taking new patients, but I'm going to call him, and I think he will take you. So she did, and I, in a couple days, I think, went to see him. He confirmed everything that the other two doctors had said. So three doctors gave yes, us a bad report. bad report. <laughs> but he said to me, now, Cheryl, I know you're believing God. He said, I'm going to agree with you. We're going to use our faith, and we're going to get through this. I said, thank you. <laughs> and long story short, God did a miracle in my body. And uh, Steve was on the road in Australia, I think, uh -huh. with Brother Copeland when I went into the doctor's office to take a pregnancy test. And I was pregnant with our miracle child. And the whole office erupted dancing. And I had to wait till he got home from Australia to tell him the good news. That was a 27-day trip, too. Yeah. So we were there for a while. <laughs> and today our son is serving the Lord and has a, be years later. a beautiful wife, and they're expecting their first child. Partnership's a big thing to us because in pastoring, you find you need people who you can help grow, yeah. you can help train, you can expect the team, we teach team leadership, to grow with you and help others. You know, we connected. We connected with the spirit of faith, people of like precious faith. This was the answer to our life situations. Everybody's faced with challenges in life, but we learned the word and how to apply on purpose, apply the word to that situation. It changed our lives.